Hey guys, welcome back. So got you up close and personal with me today because we're going to be talking all about brows. So I've got my current eyebrow routine for you guys today, and this is actually using all drugstore things. So while this is a drugstore eyebrow routine technically, um, it's really just my go-to current eyebrow routine. These are the products that I'm really loving to use on my brows and have been for a while. So brows are a very personal thing. You know, it's based on kind of your natural brow shape, but also your preferences of how you like your brows to look. But for me, I don't like a super defined brow on me, um, but I don't like a less not very defined brow. So I, I kind of like, like a medium, mid-range defined brow if that makes sense. But this is what the end product lo looks like. So if you want to see how I do my eyebrows, what my current eyebrow routine is, then just keep watching. So here is a prime example of what a difference brows can make. You can see, I mean, I do have hair, but it's pretty light because this is my natural blonde hair. So my brow hairs are pretty light and my face just doesn't look finished. My eyes don't look framed. My face doesn't look framed. Brows make such a tremendous difference. And if you're wondering kind of about like how to shape your brows or what's kind of the basic shape, you can get a brush, even it up with your nose and the end of your eye, and that's about where your brow should start. Um, go to the end of your nose and then across your eye, that's about where the arch should be. So that's an idea there. And then the end of your nose, end of your eye, and that's about where the tail should end. So that gives you a little idea of the shape of your brow. But you don't ever want to like completely make your brow shape look totally different than what your natural brows look. Some are a little bit more arched, you know, more angular. Some are more curved. So kind of go with more of your natural shape, but that's a basic guideline of how you can kind of shape your brows when you're filling them in or also when you go somewhere. But if you're going somewhere that they know what they're doing, they should be able to shape your brows for you. So as far as what brush I use, right now I'm using this Bodyography Pro Brow Brush. It's got like an angled end and then um, like a spoolie end. I also have one like this from Beauty Junkies that I really like, but it grew legs and walked off. I have no idea where that brush went, but I like these that are like angled on one end and then the spoolie on the other. You've got everything you need just right there in one brush. So first off, I like to start by just kind of brushing out my brows, kind of brushing these hairs up a little bit and these over. I don't do this every day, honestly, when I'm lazy. This doesn't always happen, but it does help if you can brush your brows out first. Then I'm going to take my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Blonde. I love this stuff. I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde for a long time, and I like it, um, but I like this one better, actually. It's more kind of almost moussey, and I like the color better. So I just get a little bit of this. And then I just literally start filling in my brows. I usually start right here. Um, I don't know why, just kind of right in between, right before the angle. So I like to go along the bottom to get the basic shape of my brow. And then I bring it over into the middle part. And I just get a little bit more product, start in that same place bring it over and now I start filling in kind of the top part of my brow. Really with this product I feel like it's just about building and especially if you use the dip brow pomade, less is more, especially with that. Use very, very little and build that up. And same with this one, I just like to use less and then just kind of keep adding more as I go and just keep building. Now when I get to the tail of my brow, honestly, I just use my finger. I come out here and I'll just go on either side to kind of make um, a more precise point. I just haven't found a way of doing that with a brush that I like. I just find that using my finger makes a better end to my brow. And then when I get to the middle of my brow, I don't have any extra product on my brush right now, just whatever was left over and I go up and down. So where here I was going over, this I'm going up and down. Because those brows, brows hairs, those brows hairs, those brow hairs naturally go upward. So using this kind of motion makes them a little bit more natural looking. Also, if I do go in with a little bit more product and put it there, using that up and down motion, I'll again take my finger and I go kind of on the top of my brow and the bottom of my brow just to kind of soften that line because that's the idea that 
This is going to be more um, defined out on the arch, but on the inner part, it's supposed to look a little bit lighter and just more natural and airy on that part, just because naturally we have less brow hair on that section. So we're trying to look like our brows are filled in and nice and complete and full, but also that there are real brows. So the more natural you can make them look, the better. And the saying that our brows are sisters, not twins, is very true. They're never gonna look exactly the same, but just get the same basic shape on each one. As long as they're close, you're good. So next, I like to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I wear this in taupe. And what I like to do with this is go through and anywhere, it's mainly this brow, this is more of my problem brow, anywhere that I feel like there's kind of spacing where I need to fill in, I'll go back in with the pencil. So I usually do this one along the bottom and sometimes up here at the top. Usually I go on the middle part a little bit. If I draw anything in this part, I'm going up and down usually, or at least side to side, kind of at an angle, either up and down or at an angle. I'm never drawing this way on this part of my brow. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just kind of filling in any little areas that I feel like need a little bit more um, if I feel like I need it to look a little bit more like hair, I use this micro brow pencil. I love this. Especially when you're going along the bottom of your brow, that's really where you want it to be more defined, is this bottom line. So that's where I sometimes bring in my brow pencil a little bit more. Just making sure that that line on the bottom is a little bit more crisp. When you're doing your brows, your spoolie is your friend. Just running this through really helps to distribute the product that you've used in your brows and just make it look more like hair. You're kind of blending everything together and making it look more like real hair. Um, if you're really having to build your brows more, the key to really building brows and making them look more natural is using different textures. So using like a dip brow pomade, a pencil, um, a powder even, just kind of building those different things gives more of the look of texture like real hair. So that's a little side note. But um, the spoolie is really just so important and easy to use for just distributing that product. It makes such a difference. And then lastly, I don't do this every day, but if my brows are a little bit unruly or also if they're looking a little bit too dark, I'll go in with my NYX um, Tinted Brow Mascara and I wear it in blonde. I really like this. It sets the brows, but also this is a little bit lighter. So that's why I say that, you know, I'll sometimes use it if my brows are looking a little bit dark. This kind of helps to lighten it, but it also helps to set my brows. And I just run this through like the spoolie, except this has that product with it. Alright guys, so there you have it. That is my current eyebrow routine. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below some of your favorite brow products. I always enjoy hearing your thoughts and suggestions. So if you guys have some like go-to products that I need to try out, let me know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.